What's poppin'? Hey, what's throwing? Hey, what's kicking with the brothers and the girlies? Today we're going to be talking about good TV shows to watch. And I'm going to put like where you can watch them at, like Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, all that good stuff. So we're just going to dive right into this video. We're not going to waste no time because I got like 25 things. And so I'm basically just going to describe them, like what it's about. And I'm going to tell you like what's the, what's the call. You feel me? So let me scoot over so it could be like here. Okay, number one on the list is Nikita. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, why do people not know about this show? Yeah. Oh my god, y'all. It is so good, Nikita. Oh my god. Freaking. Y'all, I watched it so many times. And you can watch it on, it's called CW Seed. Like, you know, the CW Seed Network. Like, it's an app and it's like literally free. Like, you don't have to pay no money y'all and it's about how this girl I i'm gonna tell y'all what's going on with not giving too much away like the basics of what it's about so basically the girl nikita um she was like like a drug addict and then like she killed a um, police officer and so she got the death penalty and so this secret service group called division faked her death and trained her to be an assassin and they telling her like oh you're serving your country and you're you know you're killing but like you're dealing with people who like really deserve it and stuff all around the world and when she found that out like she didn't like what she was doing but she was like well some people really did deserve it but a lot of innocent people got hurt so the show is basically about her and some other people alex they start with alex i ain't gonna tell you too much her name is alex the other girl named alex okay so um she like recruits her like as her own like rescues her just watch it okay let me just say it so the little girl alex she was a junkie too i'm not gonna tell you too much about her past because it's a part of the you know the story so she was an addict too so nikita like helps her get clean and stuff and yeah and the girl's parents got killed and she, nikita was like i know who killed your parents and i can help you get them back but not in like a manipulative way like she really cared about this girl you know what i mean well, when you like when you when you think about it, it's kind of manipulative, but at the same time, it was like coming from a good place. Like she's changed. So they like so Alex, she goes into division as like undercover. Like she knows everything about them and that they kill her family, all that, blah blah blah. And so she goes undercover and they're trying to take division down. That's basically what the whole thing is about, literally. I ain't gonna say too much. I'm just gonna say that because that's like the basics. And Go watch it, y'all. I swear, 10 out of 10 is so good, y'all. It's so good. She's like the best assassin that I've ever seen. I want to be an assassin. Just like her. Okay, next on the list, we got Grey's Anatomy. Y'all, don't even. Because I know a lot of people, they be having like their mixed opinions. Grey's Anatomy been around. It's about to be an 18th season. It's a good show. Like, stop hating. People hate on that show way too much. And it's just like... I'm kind of ready for it to end, honestly, because this has been so long and it's so far from like where they started. But I mean, it's growth, but I'm just kind of not over it because I still watch it, but I'm just like, okay, I mean, we can end now. So that still comes on TV on ABC, I think, but you can watch it on Netflix and on Hulu. So that is about how these five interns, they're surgical interns, and it's basically their story, them growing up about, um, you know, becoming surgeons, the great surgeons they are now. And it just has a lot of drama, a lot is with it. They sleep with their boss and stuff. Like, it's just really, really good. And you probably already know about it, but just go watch it because it's really good. Really good, okay? Next on the list, we got Scandal. Scandal is so good, bro. Literally, like, all these things on this list, I didn't rewatch them, like, at least five times for each of these. We get into the end. It's just so good. So basically, it's about how the government is shady. They do shady stuff. People, high people in the government do shady stuff. And Olivia Pope, she is like, she's not a lawyer, but she's 
a lawyer like she's she's private and basically she helps people get out of trouble when they really been doing bad stuff like you sleeping with your wife or something and like now you killed her and now you want olivia to help you cover it up like they really be bad people but sometimes they be good people who just was in the wrong place wrong time and bad things had happened so she helped them and she got connections to the white house because she's having an affair with the president She's having an affair with the president of the United States. Like, it's so good. You got to watch that. And basically, it's kind of about how the relationship goes up and down. Like, she's like, I love you, but you're the president of the United States and you have a wife. And, like, you just we just can't. And it's like, but I love you, but you're the president, but I love you, blah, blah, blah. So, it's just about all that. And you can watch that, I believe, on, um, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Um, Hulu. Next, we got Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer is so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Lucifer, you can watch it on Netflix. It actually just have the last season, and I'm saying because the last season, I really like it. I haven't finished it. Um, because like in school, I'll be finishing all my work early, so they let me get my phone. They take our phones, but they let me get my phone back. So like for 40 minutes, I'm gonna cut some just on my phone so i would download like the episodes and watch it in school so that's why it's i haven't just like wholly watched it because i do it in school but anyways it's about basically lucifer you know he's the devil but it's not the type of devil that you think like he's really actually funny he's actually a good person and it kind of make you like shift your your views and beliefs about the whole thing but don't let it like fool you too much because it's just TV, it's entertainment. But you would think that it got some truth in it. So basically, he leaves hell and he goes on earth. And he's like, I'm done with that. Like, I'm finna go have fun. I'm not I'm not dealing with that no more. Bye, hell. And he goes on earth. And he meets this girl, her name, Detective Chloe. And they start liking each other. Well, she act like she didn't like him. But we, you like him. So don't even do him. But she definitely liked him. And he's like just fun, just funny. And yeah, so you should watch that because that's basically what it's about. He, he's leaving Earth. Like, he came on Earth. So, like, his brothers and people's like, you can't just leave. You're like, what are you talking about? Who's going to, like, run it? Like, so he means a whole lot of people and a lot of stuff happens. And it's just so good. So, you should watch. Okay. Next, we have The Last Ship. Oh, my goodness, bro. I didn't watch that show over and over. Like, I swear, like, 10 times, bro. It's such a good show. It's on Hulu. Of guess name, his name is Mark Sloan the plastic dude so yeah so he is the captain each season is different but basically the first season i'm just gonna tell you the first season it's about how um they out they went on deployment to like the arctic or something and this doctor she's doing research to find a cure to a plague but nobody on the ship knows about it. like nobody in the world knew about it but a couple people like the government so now like the plague has broken out and like more than half of the planet has died basically everybody in the world is dying like more than half percent but the ship the uss nathan james they didn't get sick because they was already out to sea like months before it happened now they know that oh my god all the world's dying so they're trying to go back home to their family though so they trying to go home like what's going on but then the captain's like we can't go home like we we the only people that like got this and like people trying to kill them because they're like typical americans they always got the answer and they just try to get their people first and blah 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 blah, blah. they just always have the answer and everybody's trying to kill them because like they got the cure they end up getting the cure so they got the cure so all these other freaking people like countries are trying to kill them because they're the only person they want it so they can make money and rule the world and blah 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 but they're not about to let that happen oh my god y'all so good y'all it's a military navy show it's so good and it's on hulu and yeah go watch that too because that's really good y'all like movies and shows are my life like yeah next we got the originals y'all the originals it's so good i keep saying everything's so good but i swear they're all so good like i'm not joking like i'm literally not capping so the originals and it's on netflix um it's about a lot basically it really is but nick claus he's like he's the actual devil like when you think of devil you think of nick claus you don't think of the show lucifer because he don't act like the devil i'd be like lucifer can you like get real mad and be the devil like these people like get them 
which he do, but he's not like mad as I want him to be. Now, Nick Claus, that dude, he crazy, but he's so fun. And he's rude, but he's still fun. Like, yeah. So, it's on Netflix. And it's basically about how... So, you know the whole Vampire Diaries? I don't like that show. It's, like, real kiddish to me. I don't know. It's, like, some high school stuff. I don't really like that. Yeah. So, I don't know what they was doing over there. None of that stuff. I like the originals better. It's grown people. And they just, like, got their business. You know what I mean? Not... I don't know. I just don't like Vampire Diaries. So, basically, it's about how... Nicholas goes back to New Orleans... Because Marcel, which is basically like his son, had like, you know, start claiming all his stuff. And he's like, I built this. Like, you ain't doing nothing. But Marcel's like, nah, you live. And I've been running this since I, what? Who you talk to? But so, yeah, it's basically about that. He's trying to like, you know, what's it called? Like, take back over it. Whatever. And then his brother, um, what's her name? His brother, what's his name? Mm. yeah his brother elijah comes with him because like he's like his protector even though nicholas hit him so he's basically like the brains he's like nicholas you can't do this we're gonna get them yeah so he goes with him and then his sister rebecca comes and it's like a whole thing about that and then basically it's really about like nicholas has a baby with a human Haley, and she has a baby and all these people trying to kill her and the baby because you know that, that ain't happened before. Like, immortal people don't have kids with regular people. But it happened. Well, she, she don't turn a werewolf because of the baby, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, she was she's human. She's, like, human and something else. But she didn't even know that. And they didn't even know that. So, it's basically just about that whole thing. That whole situation. And it's good, y'all. I was obsessed with that show, y'all. I was so scared. I had, like, the lights on and the door open. Because it, it was scary, y'all. Mm. Next, we have Manifest. Everybody knows about Manifest. It's, it's, it's on Netflix. And it's really good, too, y'all. But it be making me mad because I'm like, all these seasons, y'all just keep teasing us. Like, y'all not giving us the answers that we want. Like, where are these colors coming from? What is it about? Who gave it to you? Like, get to nitty gritty. They be playing around. It be really making me so frustrated. But that stuff be scaring me, too. It scared me at first. But then I had to tell myself, like, the Collins are here to help them, not to scare them. Because I was getting scared, bro. They was coming out. No, I was like, I thought I was looking in the mirror and something going to pop out. Like, I thought I was having visions. Like, I was scared. But so, they plan goes... Like, it, it disappears for five years to the world. But for them, it's just like a regular plane ride. Like, it's like a couple hours. But they they land, and they're like, how is this possible? You've been gone for five years. And they was like, what are you talking about? Like, I just, like, we was just on the plane. Like, what are you talking about? So they're trying to figure out what happened and how did they reappear and all this stuff. It's a lot that goes on. You really got to watch it. So, yeah. Next, we have The Agents of Shields. Okay, The Agents of Shields is about a lot, too. And it's on Netflix, and it's a Marvel. Like, it's a Marvel series. So, basically how, if you watch Marvel, you know Agent Coulson. So, it's about how Coulson get this group of people that's, like, they're, they're kids. Well, they're not kids, but they're, like, young, and they're talented in their own ways. And he, like, forms this bond in this group to take down, like, creatures that's not from this earth. You know, to like, like they want to save and help them and like get them from like, stop being a terrorist. Like, what are you doing? Like, we know you're scared, but like, but most of them, some of them, they be doing it on purpose. So they're trying to stop it. So that's basically what it is about. And it's really good. It got like, you know, this like other little things about it. So it's really good. You should watch it. It's on Netflix. If you like Marvel, it kind of gets into it too. Like, yeah. so next we have Supergirl. Supergirl is DC. And I love Supergirl because... It's just something you can just watch, like, you know, like, if you're just chilling. It's not too serious. Like, it's not like a serious show where you got to know every, like, every, you know, what's going on, with, like, every single second. But, yeah, it's basically how Supergirl is Superman's cousin. And was really her to, it was really sent to Earth whenever, you know, I don't know where they from. Krypton? Krypton. Yeah, Krypton. Krypton? Kryptonite. Kryptonite. No, Kryptonite kills them. Yeah. So Krypton gotta be. Planet Krypton. Yeah, Planet Krypton. So Planet Krypton, they they actually bought from there, and 
Superman was a baby, as y'all know, and got sent here. But Supergirl was actually older than him, like, well, like, probably, like, nine or something. So she got sent here, but, like, she got stuck, like, in the galaxy for, like, many years. So when she actually gets to Earth, Superman's already grown. And she gets there, and she's still a kid, like, nine or something. So she was like, I was in here to protect him, but now you're older than me. So, like, Superman finds her, obviously, and, like, puts her with this family so she can live, like, a normal life. Because he's trying to live a normal life, too, you know, with, like, Clark and all that. And, like, keep out of danger. Because it's dangerous, obviously. So, she tries to go to this family. And they adopt her. And they really love her and stuff. And blah, 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 blah. Now, she grow up. And she's Supergirl at night and a journalist during the day. And, basically, she's trying to take down bad guys. That's basically what it's about. And it's good. You know, it's got its own little stories to it, whatever. Yeah, so it's good. And it's on Netflix. Okay. Next, we got Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie, y'all, is so funny. Like, when I get old, I hope I have that one person today. Cause it's more like, Grace is more, like, elegant and, like, you know, wear my pearls. You know, you got to go every Sunday to eat a salad with your friends. And Frankie's just like, ooh, let's go paint and, like, smoke weed. Like, it's just so funny. So, basically, it's about how, and it's on Netflix. Basically, it's about how these two old women, they're not that old. I'm sorry, y'all. And they they don't like each other, but their husbands are business partners, and they known each they know they all know each other for like twenty plus years. But the girls don't like each other, but the boys do, and their kids they like each other because you know their dad, you know they have play dates, blah blah blah. So they're gay, and they divorce both the girls, and they go live together. And so now Grace and Frankie, which is the wives, have to live together in this beach house, and they don't like each other. <laughs> so that is just very interesting and you know they old so they say like old people stuff and they just act they just act themselves but it's like old and it's so cute it's so cute but it's just so funny so it's basically about that their husbands been having an affair with each other cheating on them so they're gay so not only did you cheat on me for 20 years you cheat on me with a man for 20 years we they both got two kids like it's just like crazy like but they made it like funny in a way because that's not funny like that's not funny but it's funny so yeah that's what really good oh snap dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the organized crime good too law and order i ain't gonna say that's boring but i just ain't watched that one the look what is it intent i don't know i don't even know what it's called law and order svu law and order svu baby with olivia benson and elliot stable see i say his name wrong i think stable 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 stabler stable stable so oh my god they're the, they the freaking dream team Okay, so that's more on the dark side because it's actually really, it's really a sad, like, show. Like, when I was first watching it, I was like, oh, my God, that shit pissed me off. Like, I cannot believe that happened. Like, there's some, there's some bad people in this world, bro. Like, your neighbor might be a whole freaking pedophile. You won't even know. Like, it's crazy. Crazy. So, it's basically about how in New York, how... These pedophiles and these rapists, 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 rapists. Yeah. So I have pedophiles and rapists. Rapist. <laughs> pedophiles and rapists. Basically, how they pedophile like molest and rape women, and it's not just women. Sometimes the girl be raping the little boy and sometimes the boy like a grown man is raping the little boy so it's not just about you know a boy raping a girl or a, a grown man raping a little girl it's not about that 
Well, it is. But it's also about, like, you know, boy and boy. Boys can be victims, too. And I think that's why a lot of people get mixed up. You can rape a man. You can. So, yeah. At first I was watching, I was like, bro, I cannot watch this. Like, this is sad. Who just sits and watches and enjoy it? But it's how they they react to them when they know that they did something wrong. Like, oh. And then a lot of times, okay, I'm going to tell you, sometimes people do it and they be mentally ill. And I feel like them type of people, you can't, like, just lock them up. I feel like they need help because they're mentally ill. Like, it's that's nasty if you just, like, abuse them and throw them in jail and... If, like, they're mentally ill. Yes, they did something horrible, like, rape a woman and kill her and her child. But, like, you know, they're mentally ill. Like, you need to help them people. So, that's sad. If something ever happened to me like that, don't, like, be mad at them. Just pray that they get better. But it'd it be some people who kill me. Like, you're going to kill her because she cheated on you? Is you crazy at all? You're going to let this one girl who cheated on you see you in prison for life. Uh uh, don't nobody got no no power over me like that. <laughs> Thank you for doing something to me, and I'm finna go to jail for the rest of my life. Oh no, no 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 no, I'm not going to jail for nobody. Okay, I'm not finna go to jail because for the rest of my life because you did something to me that don't even make no sense. No. So it be people like that that like do stuff like, oh she cheated on me so I killed her and the boyfriend or like. And it'd be, like, jealous people, like, she got everything she ever wanted. And all I wanted was the part. And she took that from me. And she can't. Like, girl, what are you talking about? Like, it'd be people like that. And it'd be, like, people who be messing with molesting kids. And when you do, them episodes really piss me off, bro. When it be about the kids, bro, that shit piss me off. Like, it piss me off. And people, it just show you that people will tell you anything. Like, they, like... The whole time, the wife can be behind everything. And she's over like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. And be trying to tell on other people. And it come right back to your stupid ass. Like, that really be making me so mad. Because, like, like, ooh. But Olivia and Stable, they're not having it. You lying. And I'm going to call you out on your stuff when you lying. And you going to jail. And we probably going to fight, too. Because I'm going to tell Elliot. And Elliot, he going to fight you. So, you better um get right or get, get gone. Because you're going to get gone. And Ellie going to get you. And he don't care. Okay? Yeah, I'm on, like, season, like, seven, eight. It is so many freaks. I be having to take a break. Because, like I said, it be making my, my, oh, my gosh, y'all. My favorite, other than Olivia. Olivia's, like, my mom. Like, my Olivia, Olivia. But my favorite person is Alice, bro. Alice, I love me some freaking Alice, y'all. I ain't going to tell you what happened. But, like, it hurt my feelings so bad. But then... I get happy again. But then I get kind of sad. And then I get happy again. I love Alice. She's a prosecutor. I've got the DA. The district attorney. Yeah, she's a DA. The district attorney. A district attorney. Is that like a like a place? Or is that the name of her? She's a district attorney. Or a district, district attorney. Or a district attorney like the place you go to get a lawyer. I don't know. But she's my favorite, y'all, because she be good on my nerve, bro. I freaking hate her, but I love her. Because, like, oh, she be making me so mad. But then at the, the end, she be redeeming hair. herself. Yeah, the one with the blonde hair with the glasses. Oh, my God, I love her. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay, so she she make me so very mad. But she be redeeming herself. So she will be using the law against the judge. And I be like, that's right, bitch. And she don't even got to curse. I love people like that. They don't even got to cuss you out. That was just straight, just, just, just in you, just with prayer talking. She be using the law against the judge, and that be make her so mad. I'll put the picture of the lady that the judge that she make her so mad, cause that judge make me so mad, bro. Them judges be making me so mad, and then them lawyers. How you gonna defend a pedophile when you know good and well that this man really raping kids, but you still gonna support him? Like that, like the lawyers, they don't be making no, they don't make no sense to me, like. How could you even live with yourself from, for doing that? It's really good. It's really good. Y'all Y'all should watch it. Yeah. And that's, you can watch that on Peacock. And they got all the, the seasons and episodes on there. And I'm on like 7, 8. So don't tell me nothing. Next we have The 100s. The 100s is so good. I put my mom onto this. The 100s is basically about, it's on Netflix. And it's basically about how, um what's it called? Some place. 
Okay, so I, I guess the Earth was dying. So these people went up to space for like years and lived there. And they sent all the bad kids, like all the bad teenagers down there to see if Earth is inhabitable. Y'all like how I use that big word, inhabitable. <laughs> so they sent the kids down there with trackers and stuff to see if the Earth is inhabitable. So you're just gonna spread these kids. Like, it be like high power people kids. You're gonna send your child out. I wish my mama would send y'all. Actually, I wanna go down there anyways. But yeah, so they send their kids down there to make sure everything's habitable. You know what really made me mad? The kids, they set up their whole organization. They fighting, like, you know, these people off and protecting their own and holding down their own. You know, they had their problems with each other, whatever. But to other people, oh, yeah, don't mess with us. And they kids. Then so stuff go wrong up there in space and all the parents and stuff come down. And they trying to tell the kids what to do. First of all, you sent us down here to see if it's habitable. It's very much habitable. We got our own thing going. We got rules. We got houses, like, you know, tents or whatever. And we know, like, okay, don't go over there because them type of people's over there. The ground is here. Da, da, da. These grown people going to try to come and, like, they didn't try. They did for a little bit. But then the kids got them back. They came down there and told them, uh-uh, we taking over. So they literally take over everything they just built. And, like, people didn't die and got injured and stuff. And you really going to come... Y'all the ones who sent us down here. We could have died. Y'all wouldn't even know. So, it's about that. But then they kind of get cool. Because, like I said, it's like typical people. Like family or countries. We fight with each other. But when it comes to outside people, oh, yeah. Try us. Because, like, we, then they come together when somebody else, like, a group of people try to come at them. They're like, oh, now we're going to put this aside. But we finna, like... Yeah, so that's basically what it's about, and it's like a lot goes on, y'all. It's a lot. It's really good, and I ain't finished yet neither because I also found something that really hurt my feelings, and I was like, I'm not watching it anymore. But I'm literally like a couple episodes away, but I stopped watching it because I was like, oh. No! So yeah, I got probably got like six episodes max. So I'm gonna finish that too. But it's good, y'all. Next we got Queen of the South. Queen of the South, so good. I also put my mama on this. I put my mama on to like all this stuff. Okay. So, what I said, Queen of the South is on Netflix, and it's basically how this girl, I forget how she get how she got. Okay, basically, I don't know if she was homeless or something, but she met this boy, and they fell in love, but the boy was a part of some type of cartel, and so he got killed, and then she's on the run, and she got, like, captured and stuff, and so this girl was like, okay, you gonna, like, sell my drugs for me, blah, 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 blah. So, and I forget what her name is. Camilla. Camille. So, basically, she's working for this girl, but not... She don't want to work for her. But she has to, or she's gonna die. So, she works for her, and... Neela's, like... She eventually becomes her own boss. And Camilla, now, they equals now. So, at first, Camilla's like, I made you who you is. But then, now, she, Teresa, the girl's name is Teresa. So she becomes real high powerful. She got her own allies. She got her own business. And she's boom. So now she's like, I raised you. Basically like Nikita too. That's basically like, like I made you who you are. And you're going to do me like this, blah, blah, blah. When the whole time you, you made me do bad things and you did bad things to me. So just because you saved me, whatever. So yeah. So that's what that's about. How she she grew her own cartel and so now like a whole lot of people trying to kill her she's trying to kill a lot of people it's really good also didn't finish that because i don't know why i just you know i have a lot of shows so i be getting like stuck on this when i watch that whole thing and then i forget about this one so i need to finish that too but watch it y'all next y'all we have the resident mm, he's so fine his name is um conrad oh he's so fine so conrad in his own Hulu. So Conrad, he's a um, what is he? He's a internal medicine doctor. He's a doctor. I think it's internal medicine. Yeah. And basically, like the beginning parts is basically how the owner of the hospital, like the face of the hospital, he is horrible. He keeps killing people. Like he needs to retire from doing surgery because like his hands shaking. He be killing people, but he doesn't. So Conrad knows. Like the whole hospital knows, but they're not gonna say nothing because they don't want they get like fired or whatever. So, basically, they try to, like, tell him, like, you need to stop because you're killing people. And Conrad, he don't follow rules. Like, he follow rules, but, like, everybody loves him because he do what he need to do for his patients. 
Like, he just don't follow the stupid rules. Like, and it'd be, like, dumb rules. But he does what he has to do. And so, since they're trying to, like, kick him out, he's trying to kick them out. And then, like, a whole lot of stuff happens. Yeah, and, and it's like a doctor show. Like, Grey's Anatomy, kind of. But they're not surgeons. He's a doctor. And his girlfriend's name is Nick. And she's a um, nurse practitioner. And I haven't finished that either because it was, like, on... And I watched, like, all of the seasons. But then, like, you know, more seasons of the episode come out, like, every week. And then I just, I, I'm not good with that. I like it when just put it all on at one time and then tell me. Then I can watch it. Sit and binge watch it. I don't like waiting, like, a week to watch stuff. I don't like that. So, yeah, that's really good. And I like that. He's so fun. Next, you got the Royals. The Royals is so good and funny, y'all. Like, it's on um Amazon Prime. And it's free if you got Prime. So, it's basically how a lot of this stuff is about how the government is just corrupt. So, basically, the royals, it's about how the queen and the kings and the princes and all them, they all bad people. <laughs> not all of them. But, yeah, they basically all bad people. They're not, they're not the typical kings and queens that you think. It's like, this is really what goes on inside the, the, the castle. This is real. I I would want them like, oh, they probably be dead. They probably be acting like that in the castle. But then as soon as they go outside, they be like. You know, but behind closed doors, you're over here smoking weed and doing drugs and y'all fighting. And both the hood, the king and the queen, they got their own little side pieces. Like, it's just crazy, y'all. It's so funny, but it's good. So basically, it's about like the first season. It's about how the king dies. And. <laughs> I don't know if I could say that because I don't know if that's like a clue. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. So the king dies, and they think that it's like a civilian that killed him, but really somebody inside the castle killed him. So like, it's about how the brother, so the the oldest brother, died, but he comes back, but he supposedly died, and so the second brother he never thought that he had to be king because like I have an older brother and he's more like into that stuff and I don't want to be king so he's like oh now I gotta be king now I gotta stop sleeping around and you know drinking so he's trying to become king so he's trying to get his stuff together basically and so yeah so he tries to be king but then a whole lot of stuff go down and it's just really funny the queen she's my favorite because like she's a queen but like <laughs> She's horrible, bro. Like, it's funny. You should watch it. Um, Next, you have Riverdale. Riverdale, I used to be so in love with that show, but I don't really like it anymore. I, I just stopped watching it. And because you know how stuff goes on in the show, you're just like, bro, I hate this plot and what's going on. So you just stop watching it, but then you come back and watch it, and then you just finish it. I just haven't came back and watched it. And like I said, I don't like that high school, like, I don't like that high school stuff. I feel like I'm past that now. Like, I like real stuff about like, grown-ups and stuff. And they're, they're in high school. But it's really good, y'all. Like, a lot of stuff be happening. And I be like, dang. Like, they was only juniors doing all this stuff. Y'all wasn't even seniors. Y'all was juniors doing all this stuff. Like, that's crazy. So, yeah. It's about a whole lot. I don't even know what the main thing is about. It's just a whole lot be going on. And it's on Netflix. So, go watch that. It's good. Next, you have Friends. So, everybody knows Friends. And it's good. I have not finished the whole thing because it's so many seasons. And as you can see, this is a long list. And this is just shows. I watched, like, movies, too. I, I watch a lot of movies. And I, that's going to be my next video, like, good movies to watch. So, yeah. So, Friends is a good show. Everybody knows about it. How all these friends and just their life, basically. I don't know how else it's funny. And I believe you can watch it on HBO Max. Yeah. So it's really good and I haven't finished it, but I want to. I know a lot about it. I just need to like actually watch it. Yeah. Okay. Next you got Chrissy Nell's best. Y'all, if y'all watch my other video, you know I mentioned them. He is so funny, y'all. You can watch it on Peacock. They're they are so funny. But Todd is so funny, bro. Like he don't even be trying. Like he just he's just so dramatic. And it's just so funny, and I just love watching them. Um, so it's basically, it's a reality show, and it's just about their life, like them growing up. You know, like the Kardashians. Like it's just each episode about something different. So you gotta watch that. Like 
watch it just like when you clean your room it's funny it's gonna make you laugh so next you have celebrity game face y'all this is with kevin hart this is his stupid freaking game show like at home and they be doing like dumb stuff but i be dying it be all celebrities recent episode i watched it had nelly and his girlfriend Chantel. i believe that's her name and then you had Ludacris and his wife a doxy and he had t-pain and his girl her, i think her name is vanessa i know their names because i literally just watched it not yesterday i think the day before so it was so funny because like you know Ludacris and nelly and t-pain and kevin hart is dumb himself so if you say kevin hart so you know it's gonna be funny if you got him and they be doing dumb stuff for like no reason like it'd be so funny it comes on um mm. next we have ellen ellen I love Ellen. I love Ellen so much. Okay. Ellen, the generous. She's just amazing. And I know that whole thing happened about, oh, she's a monster behind the closed door. First of all, let's let's talk about it. She is a boss. She has hundreds of people working for her. Um, like she don't have to know all of y'all. Like it's like saying the principal gotta know all the students. Like that don't make no sense. Like you have other people that take care of things. But that was like she was being mean and stuff. I mean, she's a she's a person, so obviously she's gonna have bad days like everybody else. She never claimed to be perfect. She always says that. Like she doesn't claim to be perfect. She has attitudes sometimes. Like everybody else be having attitudes. Don't come for Ellen. Ellen has done too much for people to be just be talking about her like that and i know people be like oh they want you to think that when really behind closed doors they act like this okay i mean i'm not saying that's fine but i don't believe it ellen is like the nicest human being like oh my god her show when i come on my period it's a secret when i come on my period i watch ellen like her giveaway stuff and i be there crying like she gives away so much money like they stories be so sweet it should be doing that for them like like oh my god ellen i love like you are so nice and they be like real sad stories like she's just such a good person can't nobody ever like why y'all even trying to i love ellen bro and like her games her little game show is hilarious bro and i just love she always have like she has everybody on her show like all the celebrities it'd be so fun they playing the dumbest games like she gives away money like ellen is just she's she's that bitch okay and i dress my sister about her being gay and all and what about it okay next which is what do you call it um daytime tv yeah Okay, live with Kelly and Ryan. I love Kelly and Ryan. Kelly, we're both Libras. And I love Kelly, bro. Like, y'all probably like, that's not on TV show. You might be right, but I'm still gonna tell you. Cause that Kelly, she's just so like, like, I feel like people should watch her. Or Ellen every morning. Because they just put you in a good spirit. I don't know what it is. But I just love Kelly and Ryan. Like, oh my gosh. She is so funny. Like. And lastly, lastly, we have Our Planet. Our Planet is on Netflix, and it's basically just about the ocean and animals. And I watch that stuff when I go to sleep. It's so soothing. I just love animals. Now, I don't want to touch them or, like, go by them or pet them or nothing like that. I just love looking at them and, like their way of life and like things they do and like how they act and stuff like i just love that because it's just so much about like every animal and i'm just like oh my god it's so beautiful it really calms me they have them about like stuff in the ocean the jungle um uh, what else the desert like it just covers a whole lot and then the man's voice i think his name is david because it'd be like at the bottom his voice is okay y'all so that's good cool this video make sure you like comment and subscribe i hope you guys enjoy and tell me comment down below what videos you want to see and also comment down below good shows for me to watch because i love watching shows as you can see so comment down some good shows below and some good videos ideas and i'll talk to y'all y'all will see me very soon all right bye